How about we go to Tom Davis, uh, the guy who is spearheading the re-election efforts in Congress for the Republicans. Now, get a load of this clip here. He's as, a uh, representative from Virginia. Yes, he is. Uh, as uh, Clip number four here. As he's being introduced at the National Press Club, how he jokes around about how the Republicans do voter suppression. All right, let's laugh along. Here we go. In, in districts like the one I cover, uh, which is held by a Republican, I would think that a strategy of the NRCC would be to try to keep those new voters who might be voting for Obama from, in fact, continuing on down the ballot. Um, does the NRC have any strategy for trying to ensure that that happens? Well, you're talking about voter suppression, and we would never, ever uh, <laughs> do anything along that line uh, for, the, for, for, the, for the record. Um, I, I, I think it's fair to say, no, I think it's fair to say we're not going to spend any money uh, educating them on what they need to do, but that's, that's what you do in these kind of elections. By the way, you'll also see in some of these areas, particularly in some of the rural areas, you're going to see a huge vote come out in presidential years in North Carolina and states like that. This is traditional. They will be voting Republican. Uh, across the board. Uh, I'm just saying in terms of vulnerability of our congressional candidates, you've got to look at these high African-American voter urban style districts uh, and recognize that it's not business as usual as a candidate, that you're going to deal uh, with an electorate that is significantly different from what you see in off years. And I just think that's the fact. They're going to vote so much, that's why <laughs> we got to suppress their vote. Right. What are you going to do? Uh, well, Less people a... voting is great for democracy. For the record, we don't do that. Now, for the record, right, they don't do that. But actually, for the record, Paul Weyrich, uh, one of the godfathers of the right-wing movement, conservative, co-founder uh, co of Heritage Foundation, co-founder of the Moral Majority, in 1980 gave a speech explaining, in fact, that that is not only what they have done, but what they should do. This is the blueprint. This is the original speech where people look back and go, well, you know, that's where... That's not where they started it, but that's where a lot of people, the Republicans, got the idea to go ahead and suppress votes for all these years. So let's run clip number five. This is from 1980. How many movement. of our Christians have what I call the goo-goo syndrome? Good government. They want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. Did you hear that? Our leverage in the elections go up as the voting populace goes down. He just said it. Right. I don't want everybody to vote. I, I Because then we won't win. Make sure you suppress the vote. The founding father of the conservative movement back in 1980, Paul Weyrich, Told them and they listened. And 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 there's and he's saying he's saying elections are not won by a majority of the people. I mean, that that is just looking at democracy. And yeah, we have the electoral college, but it's about a majority. Final note: they don't even believe in democracy. They don't.